weather is literally ridiculous here. It's almost snowing earlier today. Yeah, I just realised how much curry I've had recently. Last Thursday I had a curry, last Friday I had a curry, last Saturday I had a curry, and Sunday I did a Sunday dinner, and then Monday I had a curry as well. Like, not even, like, trying to, I just ended up having it. I guess just a lot of coincidences. So yeah, since I got home, I literally haven't done anything interesting, that's why. I mean, big, big like jumps in between each clip, you probably haven't realised, but obviously I have. Literally all I've done is tidy up the cables there, and yeah, that's it. I'll make sure I do something there. So, I'm just having one of those days where I'm just really tired, and usually in these type of days I'll just go outside and do something. But yeah, it's just too wet to like go on the skateboard and stuff, and it is absolutely freezing to be honest. The weather's like so like random today, like... I know, it looks like it's getting quite warm, but then, like, 10 minutes, and, like, early today, it was almost snowing, so. Oh, so I could just do what I used to do, like, just sit in my room and talk to fill in, like, some of these vlogs, but, like, I still really have anything to talk about right now. I'm just not in a productive mood. That actually looks like a really good deal, and it'll be pretty terrible and of bad quality, but, yeah, I might actually buy it and see if it's all right. It's got two years warranty, so may as well try it. Actually, plus delivery, nope. So for us this vlog, I want to talk about all the equipment and what I use to make the vlogs. So, my main camera which I use isn't actually a camera, it's just my iPhone. It's an iPhone 6 Plus, it's got a pretty good camera and it's just really easy to hold and take around with you. And yeah, I've got a big battery case on this, so it doesn't run out. So, I usually run out of charge about like 5 o'clock and I just press this button and then it should just start charging again. I've already had it going for a bit. This is my main tripod. Sometimes I use this to like actually hold when to like vlog with them outside to get a better angle. But inside I don't really use it much and that's also how you set up my time lapses. I use these for like setup shots like inside, like this tripod. Like I'll just put it on here and that's when I sit on this chair and just talk to the camera there because that's a lot more stable. But I can just do more of this. So that's what these two tripods are. So once I've filmed everything on here, I'll plug it into that lightning cable there and put all the footage on my computer. And the editing software I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. Sony Vegas is alright as well, it's just really, really inconsistent. And yeah, there just always be problems with this, so I just didn't like it. You can do a lot more with Premiere Pro in my opinion. It just takes a bit longer to do like simple things. It probably doesn't, I just only know like the long way of doing things, I knew a lot more shortcuts in Vegas. But yeah, it does take a little bit longer than usual just to edit a video, but yeah, I'll get used to it and the outcome is a lot better in my opinion. But yeah, so I'll just do what my average setup would look like when I'm editing a vlog. So I have all my files I need to drag into Premiere on this monitor, drag it onto my timeline here, and I'll have my reference on this monitor so I can see it big. So if there is any problems, I can just see. So, so you can just skip through this. It's just some random gameplay. I think I chucked it in a vlog a couple of days ago. But yeah, these are all just my vlogs in a folder anyway. Yeah, for thumbnails, I just use Photoshop, but I don't often use it in these vlogs anymore. I just take a screenshot from a video. I use that a lot more on my old channel. Yeah, my PC is good, but it's not great. So it does handle editing, but anything over like 30 FPS, it kind of struggles and it gets a bit laggy. So like, I don't know, um, when I record in 60 FPS, it's often problems editing. So that's one of the reasons why I want to upgrade computers, but I'm really, really not in a rush. This works perfect for what I want it for. It'd just be nice if I got the opportunity to, if that makes sense. So it's not something I'm looking to do, but if I can, I will. Yeah, I also use an app called Creator Studio to respond to comments. And yeah, this is really good if you are a YouTuber. You can just look at like your analytics. Where it, it's really hard to do looking through the iPad. So yeah, I can have a look at my analytics, see what's happening, see what sort of see how the channel's doing really. Everything seems to be doing well. I mean, I can look at comments. I mean, I can just really quickly respond to them. It's almost like a social media like app for um, YouTube. And it is good, it's just why I used to respond to comments and it really does work. Yeah, I literally just opened up my YouTube app and this was on the homepage and I do need to learn to ollie while riding so that's kind of helpful. But I use this as an example, this is often what I do um, when I need to add little video clips from other people's videos into my video. So I click on this, and I'll just click on this download, this is from a um, Cydia Tweak if you're broken. You can just download any YouTube video and it's really helpful but it's a lot quicker than um, and it's just a lot quicker than importing it from a computer and I can just do it all at once. I mean, it saves me the same file and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much all I use to make videos. See, I just remembered that my quality can be quite bad on my iPad, so I don't know how that turned out, but I can't really film my games, I just don't have time. 
but yeah that is how i make youtube videos and that is everything i used to make youtube videos so if you're getting into it i hope you enjoyed you may have seen this picture floating around and everyone seems to think it's real just because it's taken with a phone i'm actually going to show you how easy it is to fake a picture like this so i have this right here i'm on the backwards compatibility menu i'll just take a screenshot this isn't going to be like a masterpiece but i'm just proving a point So I'll just have this here, I can zoom in on this fairly easily, I can just cut this bit here, unlock this layer, delete this right there, then I'll probably have to get the right font which Xbox use. Yeah, I can just save this, don't worry I know this isn't that good, I rushed it. But, okay, and then, you can go like this, you take a picture of your phone, turn down the quality a bit, and it'll look perfect. So like, that looks kind of real, I mean, obviously it doesn't, because it has all this license information. If I actually spent more than two minutes to find the proper picture, it would look real. But just to show you how easy it is to fake pictures like this, and just don't believe it when you see, I guess. Whoa, look at that sky.